Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, Spencer here, taking a closer look at a uh, Grey Knights army that we just finished up. I thought it looked pretty cool and video worthy, so uh, I thought we'd take a real quick glance at it uh, and show off some of the models. So you have a uh, Brother Captain and Terminator armor. We have two squads of Terminators, I believe in Grey Knights, they're called Paladins. Mm -hmm. uh, we have 20 regular gray knights now mind i just put these out in the groups of five i don't know how uh how they're actually organized except for these guys because they're the uh the interceptors little jump teleport pack things uh, and then we have a venerable dreadnought so why don't we uh take a closer look at the different models and show you what we've got all right, so the first model we're gonna take a close look at is the Brother Captain in Terminator armor. This is a really cool model, and I actually really like, uh, hopefully you can tell, they got a sort of bluish tint to the armor, so it's not just flat silver. Uh, but a very cool looking miniature, uh, doing the classic, you know, you know he's in charge because he's pointing uh, pose. Take a look at his his force halberd there, uh, which I find funny they call these halberds when they're very clearly spears, uh, <laughs> but you know, that might just be me. But yeah, this guy just looks amazing. This is uh, painted to level 5, so this project was a 3-5 split with the Dreadnought being a level 4. So if you're looking to get some uh, Grey Knights done up, uh, this is the sort of detail you can expect out of a level 5 here. You got a little OSL up the eyes there. Uh, all the little necessary uh, details picked out. He's got this neat little scenic base, uh, which we do these very regularly. Uh, we kind of specialize them. So that's the Brother Captain. Uh, now let's take a look at a couple of Terminators. All right, so here we have two Terminators. These are both painted to level 3. Uh, as I said, I believe these are called Paladins in Grey Knights, but I could be wrong, so feel free to correct me, you know, because I don't play 40k, so I don't know. Uh, but I grabbed the guy that I assumed is the leader, because he's doing the Optimus Prime Point, as I like to call it. So you can see the, the level, the difference in the amount of detail that's done on these guys. So, like, his eyes are just regular blue, there's no OS OSL, the, uh, the sword here isn't quite as electrifying, ha ha ha. Um, I feel really bad for that joke. Uh, you might have noticed on the uh, Brother Captain, uh, his gun has a little more detailing to it. It's got a little more color to it. Uh, but, you know, this is what you'll get with a sort of standard color scheme Grey Knight Terminator at level 3. Uh, which is what we recommend for most troops. Usually you do a 3-5 split where the troops are 3 and the, the characters are 5. Like I said, that's what this is, uh, with the exception of the Dreadnought, which we'll show in a sec. But let's give you a little, little show of these guys. I actually really like the idea behind Grey Knights. Um... I just wish they had kind of stayed in a sort of dual codex that was the, the old Demon Hunters and Witch Hunters codex. Because, frankly, it just feels like another Space Marine army, but Grey Knights are apparently insanely brutal in 7th edition, what with the Psychic phase. Um, now mind, I'm just going off what I've seen in like mini Wargaming videos, so... Uh, yeah, I, I could be completely wrong, but... Yeah, if you're looking for a good Psyker army in 7th edition, Grey Knights are an awesome way to go, especially because you can run uh, Terminators as troops. So, you get a lot of uh, heavy hitting guys. Your army won't be super big, but your guys are going to be really hard to kill. So, uh, yeah, that's a couple of the Terminators, so let's take a look at a few of the, uh, the regular Grey Knights. Alright, and here we have two of the regular Grey Knights. Uh, we got uh, just a Grey Knight, and then we have an Interceptor. Uh, I know there's like Grey Knight Strike Squads and Purifier Squads and Purgation Squads and all these different names, but I don't know all that off the top of my head. Uh, but I thought we'd take a good look 
a couple of these guys. So, like I said, these are also to level three, so about the same amount of detail as the Terminators, except their shoulder pads and like legs don't have all the the fanciness, and this leg has some of that in there, but uh, their shoulder pads are you know flat compared to to that. So, not quite as uh, fancy looking, not quite as blinged out, but still, this is this is what you can expect from a pretty standard level three gray knight, and you get the the power swords, the power falchions. Uh, his eyes are just dog blue, so there's no nothing fancy, no OSL or anything like that. Uh, and these guys have pretty standard, just battlefield bases. Uh, you know, no no fancy bases. Uh, all the Terminators have something on their bases, like little rocks and stuff, uh, just to give you an idea. They've all got stuff like that. So, so yeah, here's an interceptor. It's got a little bit more going on it looks like um, so yeah if you're looking at Grey Knights this is about what you can expect for a level 3 sort of standard troop uh, and they still look good I mean, it, I think the, the standard silver is a little kind of flat and monochrome and that's kind of my problem with all Space Marines is their armor always looks really monochrome but overall these guys look really really cool and, I don't know, just think about an entire squad of guys with a gun mounted on their wrist and two swords just running around cutting people up that amuses me to no end. So, now that we've seen these guys, let's take a look at the level 4 in this army, which is the Venerable Dreadnought. Alright, and here's the Venerable Dread. Like I said, this is level 4. So, uh, got a little more detail picked out than the, the Terminators and the, the regular troops. Um, uh, just a, a little bit more, not a whole lot. Um, like you might notice, you know, the skull and the ammo casings on his base aren't picked out. Uh, but he's got all the sort of necessary stuff. So he's got like the the leaves uh, on the the barrels of his last cannons here. Uh, this is all gold. You know, you saw the the engine block had gold on it. So. It, it's got enough to make it pop, but it's not, well, it's not, you know, this. <laughs> uh, I've seen level 5 Terminators, and they look incredible. Uh, now, you might notice that this guy's arms are moving around a lot, and that is because we did magnetize them uh, as per client request. So, it's just a little magnet in there, and then there's another one in the shoulder joint. And um, we try and make it so these will sit as flush as possible. But this does give you weapon options. Uh, I don't know why I'm taking that arm off because uh, this is the only side with weapon options. So, for example, this one has a twin link glass cannon. Uh, we, also, <laughs> we also have a assault cannon. I'll give you a good idea of the, the detail you can see on that. Again, these are all magnetized, so you can just swap them in and out and gun people down as you see fit. And then the last weapon he's got is a plasma cannon. So this is a kind of standard plasma cannon color scheme. It's mostly uh, silver, uh, brighter silver on the barrel, the blue uh, power core, I guess is what it is, and then the red around the barrel. Uh, and again, he's got all the gold here. Uh, now I don't know if the client requested that this like cabling and stuff still be black. I've seen. Uh, level 4 and even level 3 dreadnoughts where some people request these be green or red or whatnot. Uh, so you know those cables aren't necessarily indicative of uh, level they're kind of per request thing so yeah so this guy's really he's pretty neat I kind of wish he had more weapons but you know what you gonna do uh, slap his last cannon back on there but yeah, the magnetizing, if you're getting a dreadnought, get it magnetized because this is so just insanely simple and easy. And it's something we do regularly, you know, it's something we specialize in, uh, much like the, the scenic basing and stuff like that. So 
yeah, if you're getting a dreadnought, get it magnetized because it'll give you more variety, more options to play with, and you can swap out parts all the time and, you know, have a different dreadnought for a lot of games, especially if you get weapon options for both sides because then you can do... Uh, I don't know what the actual name of it is, but the, the quote-unquote Rifleman Dread, where it's the two sets of autocannons. Uh, so yeah, definitely get it magnetized. We do it all the time, and it's quick, and it's easy. And it's also really good for storage, because it means that's all you have to worry about storage-wise. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in, for joining me. Uh, as I took a look at these Grey Knights, like I said, I thought they just kind of looked cool and were worth showing off a little bit. Uh, if you're interested in getting an army, be it Grey Knights or any other army for pretty much any other game on the market, send an email to projects at bluetablepainting.com and talk to Steve. He will get you all the prices. He'll get you a quote. He'll hook you up, and he'll take care of you. So once again, thanks for watching. I hope you guys got your inspiration for the day, and I will see you later.